In this video, I will show you how to count inventory for retail store. First, open Microsoft Access, then click on Blank Database. Type the file name and click on Create. Next, click on Design View. Type the table name and click OK. To use duplicated data or UPC, right click on Key Sign, then click on Primary Key. The key sign will disappear. Next, you need to create the field name and choose data type for the table. Then save the table. Now your table have been created. Next you need to create the form. Click create on the menu bar. Click on more form. Choose split form. Now move the subform close to the form. Then click on form view. After done, click on save, then type the form name, and click OK. Now your form have been created. Now it's time to start counting your inventory. Before getting start, you need to have a barcode scanner, and a number list ready to use. If you want to know how to make a number list, watch another video in my channel. If you make a mistake add the wrong data, just delete it, and do it again. You can have more than one person to do the count, as long as you have enough people and equipment to use. The more people do, the fast you can finish your count. To do more than one person, just copy the file and do it the same. Save the data, after you done. When you finish counting, copy the data, and paste in Excel. This is the last updated inventory list, and I already organized. Now open the new sheet, and paste the data you just copied. Make sure the column for UPC, you need to change to text format before paste data. After you paste the data, you need to create the table for the data. To create the table, just select all the data and Ctrl T or Command T for MacBook, then click OK. Next, you need to name each column of the data. To name the column, just select the column and type the name of the column, then hit Enter. See the video. Save the data after you're done. Next, you need to add quantity that you just count to each item of your inventory. To do so, open the inventory list that you already organized. Then, add one column to the table. To add, just type the header name, then enter. Next, add the function to the column, then hit enter. See the video. After done, you need to do the test to make sure your function is correct. To do the test, just open your counting list. Then, on UPC column, select All. Click on Conditional Formatting. In Data Bars, click on More Rule. Choose Duplicated Value, then click Format. Choose your format type, then click OK. Now, you see the duplicate UPC are highlighted. Next, you need to sort the data on UPC. To do so, just click on small arrow on the header of UPC, then click on sort Z2A. Find the same UPC, then get the total quantity of those UPC. Then, copy the UPC number. Next, open the inventory list, then open Find and Replace Form. 
paste the UPC into the form, click Find Next. Now, you see the item you just searched for, so make sure the quantity in the list is the same to the one you just calculate. Test at least two items, to be sure. Next, copy the count column, then, paste the data only the values, to the next column, to paste only value, just right click on the cell you want to copy, click on paste special, and choose value, then click OK. Make sure the value of both columns are the same. Then, delete the count column, that contain the function. Next, you need to add one more column. Then, add the formula to the column. See the video. In the lost or gain column, is the quantity of each item of your inventory. That's short or over, between in stock and actual count. If the quantity is zero, it means, no short or over, between your in stock and the actual count. If the quantity is greater than zero, it means, the quantity of the items, is over than the in stock, of your POS system. Example, if the quantity in the lost or gain column is three, then, you need to add three more, to the inventory. In POS system, if the quantity is less than zero, it means, the quantity of the items, is shorter than the in stock, of your POS system. Example, if the quantity in the lost or gain column is minus one, then, you need to minus one, from the inventory, in POS system. To change the quantity in the POS system, you need to add barcode to the list. This barcode, allow you to find the items in the POS system, by just scanning the barcode, then the item will pop up, then you just change the quantity in your inventory and POS system. If you want to know, how to create barcode in Excel, watch another video in my channel. After you done, organize your data, to get nice and clean. In this table list, you can do the filter, to get the specific data that you want, by just click on the small arrow on the header, then choose the data type that you want to be shown, see the video. Before you print out, you need to do the page setup first, to avoid getting cut when printing. You don't need to print the whole data, print just the data that you want, by just do the filter.
Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you have any question, write the comment below. I will try my best to answer the questions.